What's going on guys? This is Mar Piazic of M Piazic Photography. Um, I just want to go over a topic that I've gotten a lot of inquiries about and that's the how to take your photography from a beginner level to a more advanced level in a short amount of time. One piece of advice I would say, look at photographers that inspire your work, um, that inspire your creativity level, inspire your drive to get better. Examine what they have done. Look at their photos closely. How many lights do they use? Do they do natural light? Do they, do, do they focus on strobes? Personally, uh, I tried natural light photography for a while and it was cool, but it didn't drive my, my brain to a point where I have to think of a setup before I shoot. Usually with natural light, you just lay a model down and the light's there for you. That's the shot. All you gotta do is do your camera settings and there you go. But with strobes, you gotta think a little more detailed. You gotta see where the sun is. You gotta find out what accents you wanna highlight on the shot. You wanna set, especially set up your camera and you have the right lights for it. There's a whole bunch of things that you have to check off before actually taking a snapshot and doing some test shots. Now, I would say look at photographers that focus on that kind of photography you want. And it won't hurt sometimes that, hey dude, what did you do during this shoot? Did you use one or two lights, three, four, five? Um, like my good bud, Fred Seely, he can use up to 20. Yeah, I'm calling you out, dude. <laughs> and um, pick their brain. And sometimes see if they offer a mentorship program. I know Brett Silly does. I signed up with him, and I can, and it has been nonstop the best investment I've done for my photography. So, how did I go from a beginner photographer to a more advanced photographer? One equipment. I learned what equipment I need to produce the kind of shots that inspired me. First off, I saw my budget, found equipment for that budget. Okay and then applied the work. Learn the lighting techniques. Learn the editing techniques, which I will highly state is very important. You can take a shot, but how you edit it is a whole different aspect. It takes a photo from a B, C plus, to either an A, A minus, A plus. Now, you can make it look too fake, or you can make it look absolutely real. It all depends on your style and your brand. You gotta figure that part out too. What is your look? What is your brand? Another thing that took me from beginner to more advanced was how I communicated with people, especially the models. How to deliver direction, how to give more fun during the shoot, my more, more of my personality, uh, more laid back. I'm more of a laid back kind of guy. When we shoot, we have fun. You know, I'll put a little music on sometimes, we'll crack some jokes, I'll get wet in the water with you, you know, I'll, I'll be like a kid, you know, just snapping shots. I like to have fun, you know. We keep the seriousness high for you know professionalism, but we like to have fun at the same time. So I like that's how I roll. So you can either dig it or not, but I don't care. That's how I roll. I'm not going to change that. And also being confident with my lighting setup and the settings on my camera. Now you don't want the model taking forever to for you to set up and taking test shots. You got to be confident with your setup. Take a couple quick snapshots. If the lighting is good, roll with it don't take forever. Just make sure you're confident enough when you're taking the test shots, you're giving them all reassurance, you're doing a good job. Live you have to, that's okay. It's all about making them feel comfortable reassuring that they picked the right guy from the photo shoot. That's all about confidence and communication and how I talk to my model. And the, probably the last thing I'll touch on this video, I'll go into other topics later on, is how I set up my deliverable to my clients. I used to use Dropbox, but now I used other, other deliverables for my, my finished work for clients or preview galleries and I'll put them in the in the links below. It's all about presentation. If a client sees you present their your work properly to them, they will ref probably refer you more to other people. Like hey I got I had this photographer Mark and he rocked it. He gave me all my shots. He, he let me select my photos and then he did the shots I wanted. And they're all given to me in a proper way. So if you do some of these steps I mentioned in this video I can guarantee you, you will go from a beginner photo photographer to a more advanced photographer. Now keep pushing that envelope every single time and I guarantee you, you'll get to the position you want to be in. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you want to see some more, I got some more content coming your way. But hey, click subscribe on this channel 
and I hope you find my videos a little more enlightening. Until then, later guys.